So you've clicked on this video because you think I'm going to give you the magic answers to meditation. Because let's face it, meditation has probably been recommended to you in some YouTube video, book or podcast. But you've tried meditating and you didn't like it. And maybe you don't want to admit that out loud because it seems like everyone is using the Headspace or Calm app these days. Well, I'm sorry guys, but I'm not here to tell you how to get into meditation. Here's the thing, I actually do meditate as part of my yoga practice and I do receive the benefits that come with it, like gaining clarity, reducing stress, and just being more present. But I also completely get people not enjoying it. I definitely can't meditate for too long without getting a bit bored. So if you don't like it, does that mean that you can't access these same benefits? Absolutely not. At the root of it, meditation is just the act of bringing awareness to your thoughts, breath, and self. You go from being in your head clouded with thoughts to being more of an observer and almost taking a step back, and there are other ways to do this. The goal of meditating isn't to remove all of your thoughts, it's about becoming the observer of them. It's about clearing the clouds in your head so that you finally have clarity. Sitting with your thoughts might not be the most comfortable thing, but I find observing and writing them down a form of therapy. Journaling is something that I've been doing for years now and I find it a great way to organise my thoughts. I get overwhelmed when there's too much of anything and that includes my thoughts. Journaling filters out my thoughts and helps me to clear my mind. I write down and let go of my thoughts and feel more mentally free and I've become so much more self-aware since doing this. Something else that I've started recently is an art journal. This is mostly so I can get back into art because as a child I carried a sketchbook everywhere I went with me. This was obviously before technology intercepted my life, but I've really missed drawing, painting, making collages and decorating words. When I started university, I stopped art altogether because I was too busy. The only exception was if I was going through a hard time because I used art as a way to let those emotions pour out. It became a way for me to channel my thoughts and feelings. And now I want it to be a regular thing because it not only develops my creativity and helps me to express myself, but it's so easy to get lost into art and to be more present. I find colouring books another great way to do this. I was so happy when I saw that adult colouring books were becoming popular again. It's something that most of us would have loved to do as children. Taking some time out to have some music on in the background and just colour away is so incredibly calming and it doesn't even matter whether you stay in the lines or not because it's a great way to step away from yourself and fall into the present. I've gifted colouring books like this to people in my life who I know really struggle with stress and personal problems in the hopes that they can find more peace. And whether I'm doing art, working, cleaning or doing any of my other hobbies, I love listening to music. I think music is very similar to meditation in that it can be a transformational experience for us. Music forces us back into the present moment as we listen to each note, beat or lyric. Some people even meditate with Tibetan singing bowls. It makes it easier to meditate as people get immersed in the sound that the bowl creates. One of my other favourite ways to meditate is to experience the feeling of awe. I've spoken about this on my channel before, but I became really inspired by the space effect. Astronauts who go to space for the first time and see Earth become completely transformed by the feeling of awe that they experience. They get lost in the beauty of Earth and return to Earth feeling inspired, more present and more inclined to do something for humanity. Obviously, I'm not going to be going to space anytime soon, but I do get lost in the feeling of awe often. Every day, I look up at the sky. It always amazes me how different it looks each and every day. And all of this makes me feel so grounded on our planet and so grounded within myself. These feelings of awe still my mind and everything else can just slip away and I completely forget what I was worrying about. I think one of the hardest things for all of us is to make the time for things. We already struggle to set aside time for things like exercise, spending time with people and making time for ourselves. I guess that's why I really enjoy practicing mindfulness throughout the day. It means I don't have to change my routine to make time for self-awareness and moments of calm. I do this a lot when I'm cleaning. I turn off that autopilot and I stop letting my mind wander with endless daydreams and thoughts. Going for drives is another one of my favourite settings for practicing mindfulness. I like to feel my hands on the steering wheel, my foot on the pedal, and I focus on what I can see and what I can hear. If you're feeling overwhelmed, just try going for a drive and being mindful and try and do this when there's no traffic so that you don't get completely frustrated. We have to concentrate when we drive, so that means it's a lot easier to be present. One of the parts that I struggle with during meditation is that I get restless. Sure, I want my mind to be still, but keeping our bodies still isn't as easy. 
I enjoy yoga because for me it's a moving meditation. I can focus on my breath and body as I move. But yoga isn't the only activity that can help us bring awareness to ourselves. There are so many others like Tai Chi or any movements where we can connect our breath with movement. Another one of my favourites is swimming. Being in the water instantly calms me down, but especially when I do backstroke with my ears underwater blocking the sound of other swimmers, I really become aware of the fact that I'm in the water. I enjoy the feeling of floating, feeling my arms glide from air to water, feeling the splashes, the rhythm of movement, and my heart beating within my chest. I love using movement as a form of meditation because it gives me something clearer to focus on. Naturally, I'm an overthinker. I'm a warrior. I get anxious often and overwhelmed easily. But even though this is my nature, I know it's not natural. I've let the outside world affect me. But now I'm trying to protect my internal world and get back to what I feel is necessary before the stress and technology intercepted it. This is through meditation and mindfulness. By doing these things, I've become more connected with myself, to the universe, and even to my spirituality. I really encourage you to find a form of meditation that does this for you too. And I hope I've given you just a few ideas of how to do this in a way that isn't sitting in complete silence with your thoughts for one hour. So stay intentional and go create some magic.